Hello, the internet. It's vlogging time. I really need to make an intro for vloggins. Um, just because I have one for everything else, I think. Like, I got one for the wake-up call. And, uh, the Day Zero Project. Speaking of the Day Zero Project, um... What was I gonna say? Summer is finally here, which is exciting. Um, it was like four months of piss rain. Uh, but now the sun is actually shining. And I was actually gonna do this outside, um, but I think I was making some parents and their children very nervous by wandering around and talking to myself with a camera. Um, so I came back inside as to not get the cops called on me. I have a story to tell you. Um, on Monday night, I was walking home and a guy in a, a motorized scooter, like those little wheelchair, wheelchair things, um, he decided it would be a good idea to try to mug me. Um, so, you know, he rolls up to me, he's like, give me your money. And I was like, uh, rather not. And then he, you know, he's like, give me your money. So I <laughs> just walked, you know, at a brisk pace to the nearest set of stairs and climbed them. And then looked at him and said no. And then, I know, I don't know, it's weird because this guy was trying to take my hard-earned money which I had just worked like nine hours to make, um, but I still felt bad doing that, uh, which is weird because it's like, he was trying to mug me, and I feel bad for not letting him. Uh, do you think I was, I was uh, a dick by doing that? You know, being like, haha, you can't climb stairs? Or was it just self-defense? Because it really was. Like, I was just trying to get away from him, and I was like, how can I do that? And stairs were the most obvious choice. What makes things funnier is the next day, or like the day after that, um, I saw him again. He was just strolling about the, the town. Um, and he waved to me. He was like, hey, buddy! Like, really? You tried to steal my money, then I essentially insulted you, and now we're bros. So, long story short, um, always mock the people who are mugging you, and uh, always put up a fight. That's the safest thing to do. I hope you guys like these wandering vlogs, because I don't like sitting down anymore. I like moving, and I like doing this. No, I don't. No, I don't. Uh, another thing I don't like is uh, v-neck shirts. Why do guys wear v-neck shirts? It just doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, I understand girls wearing v-neck shirts because they have things here. Um, guys, not so much. We have, you know, at best, some gross hair. The only guy who should be allowed to wear a v-neck shirt uh, was Freddie Mercury. That's the only person I would allow it from. And speaking of really bad wardrobe choices, the other day I saw a guy wearing, it was like a white and blue striped shirt and red shorts and a... Uh, like a red and white hat. And he looked like a reverse Waldo. <laughs> Which, all I could think of was, did I just lose because I found him? I had a bunch of things I wanted to talk about, and a lot of them I thought were funny, and I should have written them down, because now I don't remember a damn thing. Um, so I'm just going to skip right to all the, the exciting things. First and foremost, I just shot some promos for uh, a good friend of mine, Sydney. She's doing a play in the Toronto Fringe Festival. It's called Bloom. Um, the promos were a lot of fun to shoot. It was essentially a bunch of cute girls dressing up like nerds, which I'm all about. Once they're up, I'm going to throw a link to it. But in the meantime, I'm going to uh, put a link to the theater. But in the meantime, I'm going to throw up a link to the theater company and the Facebook group. You can check it out if you're in the Toronto area and like theater. Um, I highly recommend you check it out. Uh, support the arts and whatnot. Second, on the weekend I'm shooting something with the Conservatory of Dance. Um, I don't really need you guys to do anything, just thought I'd tell you. Thirdly, if that's a word, uh, a buddy of mine, or actually a couple friends of mine, they run a dating site. And it's not like a creepy Plenty of Fish or a Match.com kind of dating site. Um, it's more like a how to date site. And again, it's not a creepy pickup site, it's just a site about uh, getting to know yourself getting to know the type of women you want, and how to attract them. Um, it's really good, it's really honest, so if you want, you can head over to their site, it's called artofheart.ca, they just opened up a forum um, where you can actually ask questions, uh, talk about things, get some good advice, so if you're having trouble with the ladies or the men, um, head on over there, see what they can help you out with, and finally, 
One of my favorite YouTubers is trying to get a job at uh, Comedy Central. So please, all you have to do is go on Twitter and shoot them a, a little a tweet saying that uh, Andrew Hunt deserves to be hired for the best summer job ever and provide a link to his audition video. Again, that's in the crotch bar below, so you can just literally copy and paste it into your Twitter and uh, send it off. I don't have time to do this, but I really want to start doing two videos a week. So I'm really thinking of doing maybe a, uh, a vlog, kind of like this. Just do it whenever I have time, throw it up, or maybe just shoot it throughout the week and then throw it all together at the end of the week. Um, and then still do a regular video on Thursday, so like a wake-up call or uh, a deer blank, whatever. Um, again, I don't know where I'm going to have time for this, but it's something I really want to do, so please be on the lookout for uh, two videos a week. Well, I'm probably going to start tomorrow, or next week rather. Um, in the meantime, please be safe and be kind. The most popular one was that they deserved it. Really? If they deserve to be cheated on, you know what else they deserve? To be dumped. Maybe instead of f***ing other people, you should take a second and ask yourself, why am I dating an ass? Because if they deserve to be cheated on, then they don't deserve to be dating you. Oliver is in a cat house. Hey, buddy.